Today we're going to be giving a quick definition of what a linear bounded automaton is. So the basic idea is, is that it is really a Turing machine that has bounded space in terms of what it can access on the tape. So with a Turing machine, what we're allowed to do is, let's say that this is our one-way infinite tape, and we've got some tape cells here, and let's say we have some tape characters, and then some blanks, and then it keeps going. So here in a Turing machine, we are allowed to keep going right, 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 as much as we want and never have to stop. So we could get unbounded amount of space. There's no limit to how much space we're allowed to use, but by the by the title here, it there is a bounded amount of space for an LBA. So how does an LBA work? Well, let's say that the input to the machine is W, which I'm going to call all the characters W1 up to Wn. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a tape which has exactly those characters on it. So let's say we, uh, maybe I'll switch to a different color. So we have W1 here, W2, W3, W4, up to, let's say, Wn minus 1, Wn. Okay. And, and so this is essentially the whole thing. But the problem is, well, let's suppose that we have the tape head right here and we decide, okay, we're going to move the tape head left, 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 and then try to move left again. But in the original scenario for Turing machines, and this is the same thing here too, although it won't matter, in the Turing machine world, if we're in the leftmost cell and we try to move left, then the machine will stop at that point because it's effectively, we don't know what it's trying to do. It's doing wrong behavior, trying to access something that doesn't exist. And in this world, well, uh, we will actually encounter this same thing. The problem is with Turing machines, we could move the input or I guess everything on the tape one position over if we wanted to and think about why you can do that. You can always assume that you can move the input one or any number of positions to the right if you wanted to. With an LBA, you don't have that luxury. There's no way to move the input over. And why you want to move the input over is if I move it over, then I can say that this cell is a blank. And then if I needed to move all the way to the leftmost cell, then I just keep moving left until I hit a blank because all of this is not blank. Whereas here in the LBA setting, I don't have that luxury whatsoever. So what we're going to allow here to uh, you to do is we're going to have two special cells, one at the beginning, one at the end, and I'm going to put a dollar sign in them, which are a special character, and it doesn't really matter, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these be read only. So there's no way of writing a different thing there, and the reason is that I don't want this special character to be wiped out and then if I try to move left or or right for that matter I don't want to uh, have any issues whatsoever. So an LBA is limited to its uh, input space and one thing to note here is that longer inputs will have more tape because we have to store the input somewhere. So we, in, this, in some sense, we are only storing the input and nothing else. There's no other information. Okay, maybe the, the pointer in, but there's no real additional information being stored here. There's, it's not like I can acquire new cells or whatever because it's limited to the, the input size right here plus the two delimiters, and the only reason for that is because we can't move the input and we want to know where the last cell of the input is or the beginning first cell. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave thoughts and questions about the definition for LBAs down into the comments down below. As always, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.